sticky, savory chicken perfumed with lemongrass and garlic and chili. This is one epic weeknight chicken dish you are not going to want to miss. This is one of those dishes where all the magic happens in the pan. We get a beautiful caramelization in the wok and the ingredients themselves, very simple. So to start off with, we're going to make a marinade for the chicken and we need some lemongrass. So to deal with your lemongrass, what you want to do is just kind of bruise the lemongrass stems first of all. And then from here, I like to take off some of the more firm, harder bits on the outside of the lemongrass. And then just this little part at the end, I like to get rid of that way too firm and woody that part and then now we can just chop the pale part and I want a really fine chop on this. The ends, I like to freeze these because they still have a lot of flavour and I can use them in my Thai tom yum soup uh, or any kind of soup where I want a lemongrass flavour. Now run your knife back through that lemongrass to get a super fine chop. Half of the lemongrass I want for my marinade and the other half I want to save for later. Rest of the marinade ingredients are fish sauce. And a lot of you have asked me about fish sauce and the fact that you feel like it has a really strong smell. So it does have a strong smell. It will mellow out in this dish though. But when you're buying fish sauce, just have a look out for the color. Uh, if it's really, really dark, it means it's probably a little old and oxidized and will have a stronger flavor than some of the paler, uh, newer bottles. So just keep an eye out there. And then a little bit of sugar. Sugar is important here because we want to get a caramel effect happening in the pan. And then my little secret ingredient, some corn flour. This is going to help to thicken everything up. Just give that a mix and add in your chicken. So I'm using chicken thighs today. I do think with this kind of caramel braise, you get more out of chicken thigh because it stays nice and juicy. Breast tends to dry out a little bit. A few minutes is all we need for this chicken to marinate. So in the meantime, let's get the rest of our stir fry stuff done. I want an onion. This onion is quite big, so I might just use half of it, I think. And I just want some slices here. Now we want some garlic. And then chop your garlic, but not too fine. I really want some lovely chunky bits of garlic because that's going to soften up and sweeten up in our little caramel sauce. And now I want some chili. So this is not really about getting really spicy. I'm using a really mild chili here. It's mainly to give a little bit of flavor um, and a little bit of color as well. You could even use capsicum if you wanted to. And the chili, I do want a really nice fine chop. And now we are ready to hit the wok. Just want a little bit of oil in here to get things started. And a wok is totally not essential for this one. You could just use a large frying pan as well. And now for my onion garlic chili trio. Mm, it's such a satisfying smell. Add in my chopped lemongrass, the lemongrass I saved from earlier. And just stir fry this for a couple of minutes until the onion's starting to soften and char a little bit at the edges. But just watch out on that garlic, you don't want it to burn. This is looking good. I'm going to move everything to the side of the pan, make room for my chicken, add a little bit more oil. In goes the chicken. Now spread the chicken out. It will look a little bit wet to start with. Got that marinade in there. And what we want is for that marinade to start to evaporate and then for the sugars and the fish sauce to really start to caramelize on the bottom. It's going to take a couple of minutes. Okay, so I can see some darkening brown bits happening underneath our chicken here. A lot of that marinade liquid has now disappeared. We've got some loud, fast bubbles happening. So I think it's time to flip our chicken. Beautiful. We've got just a touch of color on that chicken, a little bit of charriness. And now I'm going to add some coconut water. So coconut water, just grab it from your local supermarket. It's the juice from inside the coconut. And I like to go with the one that's as natural as possible. Uh, so try your fridge section for that. And this is where we need to be patient and wait for the magic to happen. We leave this to simmer for about 10 minutes or until it's beautifully thick and glossy. Okay, so check this out guys. Look at what we've ended up with. This beautiful, sticky, dark caramel sauce. Ah, pure magic. Mm, I wish you guys could smell this. 
Now this is a really full on intense chicken dish. You definitely want some rice or some noodles for this. I'm gonna serve mine with rice today. And just to finish things off, I want some crunchy cucumber. I love the kind of textural difference between the soft chicken and that crunch of the cucumber. And then just some coriander. If you're not a coriander fan, you can totally leave this out. Just add spring onion. So there you have it guys, really simple ingredients, a bit of magic happening in the pan and you have one amazing chicken dish. Beautiful lemongrass flavor, lovely deep caramel, so good. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys. Food.